Well, they are good. Obviously a little, a little eventful. Um, I've known for a couple days, so I guess it uh, was a little easier for me. I was able to pack a couple things before yesterday and, and get some stuff squared away at the house before I had to take off. Um, but yeah, it's just nice, nice to be here and nice to kind of get it going. It's playing hockey and uh, that, that part's the same, so that makes it a little easier. Were you able to uh, uh, at least say hello to most of your uh, new teammates be between last night and this morning? Yeah, I think so. Uh, obviously, it's going to take me a second to put names to every face in the organization, but uh, I think I, I caught most of the guys. I think a lot were here today, and I, I saw you know whoever was playing last night mm -hmm. uh, at some point after the game. So uh, nice to familiarize myself with some of the guys and uh, go from there. When, when did you... Uh, you did you arrive at the rink like midway through the uh, the game last night? Or? Yeah, I don't know. Eight eight thirty. I kind of landed at the airport, went, dropped my bags off somewhere, and then uh, right to the rink. And and uh, 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 an, an in between periods interview with uh, Darren Pang that had to be uh, interesting, and uh, the crowd wouldn't stop uh, applauding. I mean, uh, yeah, I uh, I didn't know what was coming. Got the interview on the bench. Yeah, I might as well get it over with right away, I suppose. That's good. Uh, the crowd you, seemed to love you. Uh, I, I don't know if it was me or Panger, but uh, <laughs> they don't know me too well yet, so maybe him. I don't know. There, there was. I don't know if you saw on the video board, uh, or had you arrived yet? Uh, some uh, lady had already gotten a Fox 72 Blues jersey. So um, someone told me that my buddy said he saw it in the stands and said he started booing. <laughs> uh, I, I was pretty quick. I don't know how you turn turn stuff around that fast. So what was it like to be on the ice for first off a uh, new brand new facility here? What do you what do you think of it? Uh, it's nice. I think everyone told me I, I came at perfect timing, mm -hmm. just coming right into this brand new rink, and it's nice. It's good to have a, a nice practice facility, a nice home base, and I think guys are, guys appreciate it. I know uh, this is a little bit of a step up from what I had, and so I, I definitely appreciate it. And I'm sure the new or the guys do too. From I don't know what was the old, but. Uh, 95% of the time, new, newer, it can be better. Good. It was like the last place open in an abandoned shop. Yeah, I've heard. Place. I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got the scouting report. Yeah. Uh, just on the ice, what was it like being on the ice? Only a handful of your teammates, but still first practice, I guess, officially. Uh, good. I think uh, I had some new gear I needed to, to get comfortable with and, and try and get a feel for it. Um, like I said, at the same time, it's uh, out on that ice sheet, it's still hockey. And just because there's a couple new guys or but for me, uh, guys, I got to get used to. It's still the same game, and I got to I still treat it the same whether I'm here or anywhere else. And, uh, it was just nice to, to get out there and, and kind of get the first one under my belt. How soon can they play? They have a game tomorrow. Could you play? play? Uh, I'm just doing what I'm told. <laughs> uh, I'm sure they can uh, tell you whether I am or not. I don't know how that works here. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, you're welcome to tell us. Oh, I don't know. Uh, they, when they tell the lineup, then I'll tell the lineup. I don't know. Um, but you'd be okay if they said, "Hey, would yeah, you yeah, whatever." I mean, it's just because I had a flight last night doesn't mean it's uh, mm -hmm. anything different for me compared to anyone else. It's uh, preseason. I was playing games, whether if I was still in Carolina or here, and uh, if they tell me I'm playing, I'll go play. It's not you, a big deal. You've been in one game so far. Yeah, I played one. Uh, so I should probably get in another one here soon, but uh, I think they also know I've been in one. Uh, were you surprised? I, I, uh, we, uh, Tom and I just learned a few minutes ago that you knew Adam Wilcox. Were you surprised when you saw him on the uh, on the roster? Do you know him? Uh, uh, yeah, I was best man at his wedding, and he'll be uh, best man at mine next summer. So I think we know each other pretty well. <laughs> you uh, grew up together? Yeah, we grew up in South St. Paul, Minnesota together. and. I've uh, been good buddies, obviously, ever since. And uh, I saw a group group text going between uh, myself and him and our moms, and I, I didn't read it right away. I was a little busy <laughs> yesterday, and and then I saw he was texting me, and I I had a moment there, and I took a peek, and he was like, "I'm still here," <laughs> <laughs> and then it cued in that he, I didn't even process that he was here at the time, uh -huh. and I had no idea, and he sent that text, and I started laughing. I thought it was pretty funny, and. Uh, we took a quick little picture out there at the end for our, our mothers. I think mm -hmm. they would appreciate that. Um, and uh, I was able to grab a bite to eat with him last night, and uh, he uh, yeah, used his car services to get me to the <laughs> rink this morning. Just so, uh, did you live close to each other, or, or just? Uh, yeah, like uh, blocks. I mean, I don't know, bike or walk to his house is pretty easy. Were you on the same youth teams and everything? Yeah, up, yeah, pretty much for the most part. Played high school hockey together, even. Uh, 
yeah, we grew up uh, our whole lives together. Obviously, we're not we're not neighbors anymore, but uh, our parents still pretty much are a couple blocks from each other. So, like from kindergarten on, or from yeah, I don't know. Like we met playing hockey, like five years old maybe, and from that I think, and uh, spent a lot of time together growing up. Justin, you talked yesterday about how you've had an awful lot of coaches in the last few seasons. How difficult that it, for that is a player to have different voices kind of on a consistent basis? Uh, I don't know. I, I guess maybe I'm I'm used to it. I, the sequence of events was probably pretty fast for all those. Obviously, I had Bill Peters there for four years, I think. So there's a little gap there where I had someone consistently. But if you really want to dig into it, I suppose it's from 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I probably had five years, five coaches. So two coaches at the U.S. program, one each year, college, pro, Carolina, Charlotte. <laughs> And then I had three coaches in four years in Carolina, so uh, it shouldn't be that bad. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm pretty well used to it. I guess I was more confused coming into a training camp and having the same coach for the, uh, than I was uh, having a new one. Um, it's a it's it's a voice, you, you know. They're they're kind of the authority, and and you kind of do what you're told. But um, it, it's like I've said, it's it's still hockey. Uh, you're still po- supposed to play your your style. I, I tell that to a lot of a lot of the young guys, you know, you're you're here to, to play your game a lot, and uh, play that within the system. Um, and uh, maybe I have the luxury because I've been around a little bit longer to, to say that. But uh, it's it's still hockey. I still get to play the the same style I play, and just uh, make sure that's within the team team system, and I'm not doing anything that's gonna uh, be outside that and, and slow things down. You, um, uh, I'm sure you talk to players, but what do you what do you know about Lou Ruby as a Coach, uh, what are you expecting? Honestly, I haven't asked as many guys how he is. Uh, I don't know. I'll find out for, for myself, I suppose. Um, everyone says he's a nice guy. I haven't asked anything about uh, his coaching styles or anything like that. I'll, I'll just hear from him and, and the coaching staff when I when I get the opportunity. It's, it's a little busy today, so I didn't sit down with him too much. But um, I'll get to get to sit down with him and, and figure things out and. and uh, Learn as I go. Um, I would assume most people are generally pretty happy with him after uh, the last uh, however many months. It's been eight when he took over, whatever it was, nine. So actually, probably closer to twelve now. But um, yeah, everyone uh, said good things. But like I said, I haven't talked too much hockey with, with guys yet. It was uh, surprising to us that haven't followed your career closely that last year was your first playoff year to reach the finals and then come to a team that's won the cup. How hungry does it make you to take? I, I, I want to get that. I want to get that cup. Well, it's fun. I think uh, you, I got to got to experience what what NHL hockey is. Um, there's definitely a difference. It's not the same game. It's harder. Uh, it's more intense. It's, it's to me more enjoyable. Uh, I think that's real hockey. Uh, it's more physical. It's a grind. You got to you got to battle every night. It's kind of a you know, you're looking across at the same team multiple multiple nights in a row and, and uh, just, you know, you know it's going to be a battle. And I think that's the enjoyable part. I think the fans would agree. Everyone loves tuning in to play off hockey. Uh, even non-hockey fans think it's awesome. So uh, it definitely makes you hungry to, to get back back to it and, and take another run at it. And um, I'm said before, I'm happy that I'm coming to, to this organization that, that had success last year and is, uh, has the same expectations to to have a ton of success and, and going around and try another win or win another cup and um, that's uh, part of the reason why I wanted to, to sign here long term is just a team that's built for for success for a while and uh, why wouldn't you want to do that? One more, guys. Uh, I w- wanted to ask you about uh, uh, if you've ever played uh, your offhand side much. You know, obviously the, the Blues now have three very very good right-handed defensemen in yourself, mm-hmm. Petro and Pareko. Uh To be honest, I haven't uh, haven't a ton. I I did in college, uh, played the left, and since then I've been pretty much on the right. I, I played with Brett Pesci a lot last year, and he's a righty, but he slid over to the left. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. I have no no clue. And like I said, if, if if I'm asked to go to the left, I'll figure it out eventually. It's it's, it's a little different, but uh, we'll be okay.